Speaking 3D channel GeoBuddies from Seismic Volume is the primary focus of seismic interpretation. Channel identification by hand is the time-consuming and subjective technique. The interpreter can compute seismic attributes, such as coherence, to help in manual detection of channels on seismic volumes. But as we understand, it's not going to work precisely for channel detection, but will also respond to other seismic features, such as seismic faults, and coherent noise. Moreover, the attributes do not really pick or isolate 3D channel geo bodies. Namfam proposed in his dissertation a deep learning approach employing encoder decoder convolutional neural network for automated channel geo body identification. In 3D, that outperforms existing methods. As usual, we'll go through numerous aspects throughout his paper. We'll visit training dataset, neural network architecture, and the result. And there is a usual mantra. It is best to use a data set that's been interpreted by humans, but they are not always available. And geologists, geophysicists' interpretations are sometimes wrong. As a result, in order to have a clean data set for training, the author suggested using synthetic data set. They employed a 3D depth model of a complicated stack deep water channel system in Africa as the training data set. Because channel identification is a segmentation problem, they built a data set with labels where 1 for channels and 0 for everything else. The elementary volume that they generated in 3D is of size of 156 by 156 by 100. For training, they selected 1000 examples and for validation only 6. Alright, let's move to neural network architecture. They've developed an architecture based on Bayesian SegNet. It has 4 layers in the encoder and the same number in the decoder. The most interesting feature of this neural network is that it also includes a dropout layer between the last encoder and the first decoder layer, which gets rid 30% of the units to measure how uncertain the model is. Your sub to the channel will certainly be welcome. And here we go to the result section. The first dataset is a marine seismic survey that comes from Australia. The results are much better when compared with the traditional seismic attributes. Plus, there is a posterior distribution of channel probability that gives more information. For example, train neural network cannot tell the difference between the stack channels very well. There would be a lot of uncertainty in that region. And the second dataset is Parihaka that comes from New Zealand. You gotta appreciate that neural network is only trained using synthetic data, but it can find channel geobodies on 3D seismic from various geological conditions. And the model uncertainty will help people who are trying to understand what the results of neural network mean. I have a very good video for you in here, where I present how machine learning is used for seismic facies identification. 